What is up everyone? Today I'm gonna to show you how to upload older firmware onto your mini doge miter in case you were having issues with it like maybe it was crashing constantly on you um, if that sounds good to you let's hop in and let's make it happen all right so the reason i'm doing this here is because i did a video recently on updating your firmware to the 2.2.0 uh, firmware for your mini doge miner well I and like some others have been commenting on that video have been having issues with that recent update. So I know I haven't done one of these videos yet, but I wanted to show you guys how to re-upload older firmware. It's super easy. It's pretty much just like upgrading to the latest firmware, but you just have to go and find that old version. Um, so let's hop into the laptop here and uh, let me show you how to do this. So once you're in there, just come on over to Gold Shell's website, come to support, okay, just like before. Um, you're going to come down to where it says tutorial and software. Click on that. You're then going to come to the software section. That's going to take you here to your different options for managing your miners. Um, for the mini doge, it's super easy. You just come over to the Yoda MC and firmware. Click on the latest firmware version here. And then you're going to see all the different options. Uh, files here for downloading that firmware you know like we've done before you've got that 2.2.0 uh mini doge uh firmware there but the reason i'm doing this is because one of my five miners has been crashing at least once a day well just like i learned when i first had those miners that's a firmware issue so what we need to do here is let's go back to some old content okay so the old firmware, so we're gonna find that under archive, come up here where it says archive, okay? Click on that there, and you're gonna scroll on down to where it has mini doge, okay? Right here, so you can see all the way from 2.1, uh, 2.0.1, and it goes all the way up to 2.1.4. So 2.1.4 is the most recent version that our mini doge miners were on before we upgraded to the 2.2.0, okay? All right, and then just go ahead and click on the download to your downloads folder, okay? It's gonna download it there. And then just come on up to find.goldshell.com. You will find your mini doge miners here within the system. And just click on the gear icon for the one that has given you the problems, okay? And this is very important to name your miners because that way you can know exactly which one is that's having the issue. Maybe you just unplug it and plug the power uh, cord back in. I know that sounds super janky, but that has worked for me in the past. Well, if that doesn't fix your issue, it is a software issue. So go ahead and click the settings button. It's going to pull up, sorry. Um, it's gonna pull up um, your dashboard here for that particular miner. You can see I already have the 2.1.4. So let me do one that I already have running, okay? I'm just gonna do it for you here that I have not updated, okay? So let's do one here. I have not done this one here. Okay, so this has the latest firmware. So I'm gonna unlock my miner. Then I'm gonna come down to the system. I'm going to click on firmware version. I'm gonna click on the latest one I downloaded. It's the same thing as the other three. I just have been doing it for the video. And then you're gonna click update. And so then it's gonna update it here within the mini doge box while it's running. Don't ever shut it off. Just let it update and then it's gonna verify like it is right now. And then I'll show you what it looks like once it's updated. All right, and then once you close out of that browser tab, you're gonna go back to your find.goldshell.com. It may take a, a minute or two to upgrade, or update, I should say. Uh, but then you'll see that icon here once it's finished and done. And just go ahead and click on the gear sign. Once you're in there, you'll see um, that it's got the latest firmware version of whatever you downgraded to, okay? So in this case, the 2.1.4. And then of course you can see the current fan speed, average, mega hash, things like that, blah, blah, blah. You guys know that stuff. So that, that's how you do it. It's super easy. Just make sure to go to that archive section. And then if you ever want to re-upgrade it to the 2.2, you can do that, not a problem. But I wanted to show this to you guys real quick because I did have an issue on my miner and I know others were as well. So if you ever have, have an issue where your software version, that recent up, uh, firmware version upgrade, uh, is causing issues with your machines. 
uh, just downgrade, downgrade back to what is working. Um, no need to, to upload unless there's like some big major changes um, that are happening on the firmware. But uh, yeah, guys, that is super easy. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to like that video. Subscribe to the channel as always as I produce more content and uh, leave a comment. So if you ever have any issues, let me know. I'll do my best to help you out. And until next time, I'll see you when I see you.